going off-roading in Uggs, uh, you can really feel the ground underneath you. It's kind of interesting. Uh, going up a hill, hang on. Should I have worn different shoes? Yes, but I didn't wear those shoes because it's time for another vlog and I wanted to show you my Ugg spirit. And uh, hey guys, so where are we at? Well, we are ready for an update. It has almost been the six weeks since I made part one of this new vlog series uh, where I talked about, hey, I'm starting to write a book and I'm gonna give myself six weeks to see how we're doing. Obviously, that whole plan kind of got scrapped, but we are still at that six week mark. So I wanted to do a vlog regardless and catch you guys up because it's been about three weeks, I think, since the last one and uh, lots of great updates. Um, two big things I want to touch on in the vlog is uh, I'm moving. I am moving on the 4th. I am finally getting my own place and I want to talk all about that and why I'm doing it and optimizing my life to be a better author. And I also want to talk about passion more and just what's going on in the book. Obviously, unfortunately, I can't talk about it too much, but I can hopefully at least give some some information about the book to you guys just to just to share it with you because I love talking about it. I love thinking about it. I just kind of love it in general. But yeah, I am moving. I've been at this house for about three and a half years now. I don't know if any of the OGs remember the old video I posted of uh, it was like in the MTV crib style when I moved in here and I'd only been YouTubing for maybe two years at that point. And uh, yeah, that was fun. And it's been a great experience living here. It's hard living with people. Uh, so uh, there's been a bit of drama lately, but all things considered, it's been overall a good experience. My life has gone from a very bad place to a very good place. And being in this space helped me do that. It was, it was a part of that. And I'm very grateful for the time that I got to spend there. Um, and the friends that I've made, but I'm at a point where I found my passion, which is super, super rare, super uncommon. By the way, writing still my passion. Yeah, just getting more and more confident about that every single day that goes by. It's definitely what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's what I want to do as a career. I, I want to write. Maybe I'll write some screenplays one day, but right now I'm just working on the uh, the William Witchbane series. Uh, the book's called the Warlock's Curse, so it's William Witchbane and the Warlock's Curse. Uh, currently, I thought I've been playing around with the idea of having his middle name be Wolfgore, just as kind of a reference to my creative body of work, which originally started as a gamer tag, but I wasn't sure. I, I thought it felt kind of forced in the title of the series, but it's still his middle name, right? It's just not going to be on the cover of the book. It's just his middle name is Wolfgore. It's William Wolfgore Witchbane, but I don't think I want it on the cover. And at some point in one of the books, maybe it'll be like the last book, somebody will ask Will, hey, what's your, what's your middle name? And I'll tell him it's Wolfgore. So, you know, 10 years from now, you know, you might be reading book seven and be like, oh, he followed through. He followed through. I remember when you said that in that vlog, but anyways, that's a super niche scenario. But yeah, that's something about the book that's cool. But anyways, back to housing. I am moving after three and a half years and I've just been loving writing so much. It's like taken the number one position in my life by a margin of like, my life now revolves around this. Every other element of my life um, that is within my control is now a smaller celestial body and writing is now the sun. Like that's, it is my passion. I, I, I fucking love it. I think about it every day and I want to be in a space that optimizes my potential as a writer. And what I found, especially because I am somebody who has pretty considerable uh, unmedicated adult ADHD, uh, that being around distractions is brutal for me. It's absolutely brutal. And having roommates and having a dog and all that stuff, you know, they're great guys. They're just living their life. Morgana's just being Morgana. She's just walking along doing dog stuff. But it's like, I hear that and I'm instantly pulled to something else. And it, it, oh, it drives me crazy. Not with them, just it drives me crazy that I am so easily distracted. So I actually looked around online. I talked to my roommates. We're all cool and everything. And 
but I looked around online and I found a little one bedroom cabin out in the middle of fucking nowhere, uh, just in the forest. Like I'm gonna have to use a mobile hotspot. I'm gonna have to like change my own propane and stuff. It's gonna be a massively different lifestyle change, but I think it is exactly what I need and what is going to take these books from A tier into S tier, at least by my standards. And I believe that this, making this big change is gonna be what's gonna get me published. And that's a very complicated thing to say, um, but I think you get what I'm going for. Like this feels so, so right for my future and the things that I'm trying to accomplish. That's why I'm doing it. And uh, I'm just super stoked. I am super, super stoked. <sighs> and I just wanted to share that with you guys. There were other things that I wanted to talk about. Yes, there were other things I wanted to talk about and I managed to remember them. Passion, right. I wanted to talk more about passion and how passionate, I just wanna keep describing the way I feel about writing these books as I can't really talk about the books themselves in great detail. The experience of authoring, the experience of writing is the main thing that I wanna focus on. And it's like on Tuesday this week, Today's Friday that I'm filming. On Tuesday, we had a really, really, really long day. I'm talking an 11 hour work day, not including the commute to the place and the commute from the place. So we're talking like I was gone the entire day. I got home at like 8.30 at night, just completely freaking exhausted, just super ready to fall right asleep. But it's like the thought that kept me sane all day long, all day long, was, hey, at least I get to go home and write tonight. And I just, every time I thought about that, I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Even if I don't get dick all else done today, if I can just get one paragraph, hell, one sentence, hell, one word. If I can just get some writing done, maybe not one word, one word's not very satisfying, but at least a sentence or a paragraph, at least I feel like I pushed forward my passion that day. And I have written every single day since I started writing. Usually, I'd say on average, I'm averaging a page and a half a day right now. Some days it's only a couple paragraphs, some days it's just one paragraph. Uh, a lot of days it's two. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'm averaging about a page and a half right now. And uh, yeah, when I, when I finally got home from work on Tuesday, I wrote. And you know, I, I chilled out for a little bit, I ate some dinner. But then about 10 o'clock, I started writing, I got into the flow, and I wrote all the way up until bedtime, which is 11 for me. And I just, I couldn't believe it. Nothing in my life ever has been so important to me that I would come home from an 11 hour work day with only like two and a half hours of me time and be like, yeah, I'm gonna give 40% of this to that thing. Unless that thing was playing video games, in which case that would be the case. Which makes me wonder, Am I actually passionate about video games? Because I've had that thought before and I've said it before to people like, yeah, I'm super passionate about gaming, but it's, it's kind of a tricky one. I would love to know your thoughts on that. And because I'm sure a lot of people that watch my videos are, would consider themselves passionate about video games, but I'm curious how, where video games actually stand. Is that more of a hobby? Even if you really, really love it as a hobby or is it actually a passion? I'm inclined to think the former, but I'd be curious to know what you have to think. But yeah, it's pretty much the first time in my life I've ever felt this way about anything. I'm finishing up part two of the book right now. Um, to put that in other context, I will be finishing chapter 17 tonight, which will be the end of part two. I'm expecting there to be about seven parts and I've currently written about 85 pages, I believe. If you count world notes in there, we're up to about 100 pages, but I'm not counting world notes at this point. We're about 85 pages in. Part one is I think 40 pages right now, and the, it may grow, it may very well likely grow. And part two is I think 34, no, it's 37. I think it'll be 38 pages when it's done. I can't remember, it's, it's hard to keep track. But yeah, 17 chapters in and 85 pages in five weeks. Uh, feels really good, man. I, I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm not pushing myself too hard, but I'm also keeping myself going. I don't feel at all at risk of burnout. Um, I'm just very happy with the progress that I'm making. And I want to know what's happening in the future of the story. It's so difficult. I think about it and I'm like, because I can suspect things. I Shit, I can make plans, but I try not to. 
but ultimately like the story is what it is when you put the thing on the page and a lot of times when you're actually in that flow state kind of sitting there just typing away things turn out a lot different than you expect what you think is going to happen and that has been the case for me so far so it's like i don't know what's going to happen but i'm like a quarter of the way through this novel and i want to read the rest of the fucking novel but i have to write it before i can read it and it's very it's such an interesting problem to have just never thought i'd be an author and here i am uh, and i am definitely getting better i am super happy to report that i am absolutely getting better as a writer part two is definitely cleaner it's coming out cleaner than part one like it's all going to require a lot of editing but definitely part one the first 40 chapters or so are going to require the vast majority of the editing because figuring out how to narrate consistently is very difficult in part one my narration is kind of all over the place like sometimes it's present tense sometimes it's past tense and i don't know how to describe these ideas very well because i didn't pay attention in school i'm just figuring this stuff out as i go like i always do with stuff just kind of teach myself and be like i understand this concept but i don't know what the word is that i'm looking for um but anyways part two is good like it's freaking good and part one is actually very good it's just sloppily written right now and that is going to be fixed with time but part two is freaking good and i'm only i only have you know less than two months of experience like i can't wait to see you know how good i am at this when i'm finished with the book and i can go back and use everything that i've learned since the beginning to edit the book i'm so looking forward to that process just coming home chilling reading my own book fucking editing it and making it better and every day taking steps towards getting published and having the career that i dream about all day long every day dude it is such an exciting time to be alive i am so happy like i'm out of i'm walking i'm walking and i'm in great shape and i'm walking and i'm out of breath because i'm so excited just to talk about this thing guys thank you so much for watching i love your faces i'll be back with another vlog soon i don't know exactly when probably in the next few weeks within the next month you uh, there will very likely be another vlog so stay tuned in if you're enjoying the process so far i love your faces a little beardy stubble heart for you bye